Had a lot like childbirth, I stupidly forgot the pain, and here we are. 140 mums and dads, friends and family have children born with Duchenne, a rare muscular disorder that affects one in every three and a half thousand boys. They're raising money for vital research, cycling over 300 kilometres to Paris. It's amazing to see everybody come together to want to support the Duchenne community. It's, it's actually very, very emotional for us. This is the 11th Duchenne Dash, an event which has already generated millions for medical science. The community spirit, the support for the, the boys living with Duchenne, and it just gives us confidence to carry on and keep fundraising. I think I'm prepared, but if I'm not, I know everybody else will get me through. The money raised helps boys like Eli from West London. I'm missing a protein in my body, which is quite important, which is for the dystrophin gene, which I, something I don't have. <laughs> his ambition to play with his band at Glastonbury later this year. It's obviously, it, it's really hard, but at the end of the day, I don't really let it define me. I kind of like am who I am. Here you are thinking that you have a healthy child and then you're told that your son has Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And the future that was laid out then by the doctors was very bleak. And I just couldn't accept it. Are you ready, Mum? No, not at all. The idea of cycling from London to Paris in 24 hours is really simple. The actual reality of doing it is really hard, but every single person who's on that ride is so well supported. There's a real emotional connection there to the reason why we're cycling. We're cycling for boys with Duchenne and we're cycling to get treatments and a cure to end this disease. We've raised something like over six million pounds for Duchenne research and we need people to do the dash to help us finish what we started. It's great to be back on the road again with all these amazing people, but it's also terrifying because it's a really long way. It's 24 hours with pretty much no sleep. I'm really excited that we've got the most number of people we've ever had doing this year's Dash, and we're gonna smash it. Arriving in Paris this evening, the ride will finish at the Eiffel Tower. Luke Hanrahan, BBC News.